What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more punk rock. And we're going to listen to two versions of the same tune from 88 Fingers Louie, a group I've reacted to before, but maybe not enough. It's funny, a lot of the punk rock I listen to and some of the very earliest bands I ever heard are more in the political and philosophical end of the punk rock spectrum, hardcore punk bands. This band, 88 Fingers Louie, is, at least in terms of their typical subject matter and themes, maybe more what you would consider pop punk, but it's a weird label to apply to them because their music is sort of hardcore punk rock, thrash type punk. They're a group from the Chicago area, Illinois. They began in, I believe, the early 90s. I first encountered them in 1995, a few years after I had discovered punk. Again, people who don't know the story, I went to a hockey camp in Canada, someone was playing propaganda a lot, I fell in love with their sound, came back, was able to find their first album, and after that I got into Bad Religion, Dead Kennedys, Subhumans, and the rest, as they say, is history. But a couple years later, in 95, I got a compilation called Punk Sucks from Liberation Records, a lot of the bands on the compilation are, again, more down the pop-punk end of the spectrum, though a lot of the songs that were chosen have a faster and more thrash sound. Sublime is on the compilation, Homegrown, Strung Out, Bouncing Souls, a lot of really good bands that I would come to know better in later years. But yes, the first time I ever heard 88 Fingers Louie was on that compilation. Now, I don't have that CD anymore. In the intervening years, I did find it online, so I have the full compilation in digital form. But shout out to Punk Sucks, the compilation. And the song they included from 88 Fingers Louie was called Too Many. And again, at the time, in 95, I was like 14 slash 15. It wasn't until later years that I really began to understand more songs related to relationships and angsty feelings and being uncertain about your status and so on. So it wasn't until I began to have relationships myself and appreciate some of the concepts in their music that I realized, okay, so maybe they're not singing about overt political concepts like bad religion or dead Kennedys and so on, but they do have a lot to say. Now, 88 Fingers Louie as a group, they've broken up a couple times. Initially, it was, I think, the very late 90s. This, we're going to listen to this, or both versions of this tune, Too Many, both the studio version and a live version they performed in Germany. This is a compilation from 97, which I think came out right around the time they broke up initially. 88 Fingers Up Your Ass is what it's called. They got back together in, I want to say, the late aughties, early 2010s. Maybe it was actually like mid-2000s, and they came out with Back on the Streets, and I think that's a fantastic album. It's a bit more of a mature sound, still very much their sound, but it just has better mastering, and it sounds a bit more matured or developed compared to their earliest stuff. I think they then broke up again because they all kind of had families and so on, and indeed there's some songs on Back on the Streets that relate to that, like Punk Rock Rulebook, I think I reacted to that. And then eventually I think they came back again and recorded an album in the late 2010s, maybe like five, six, seven years ago. And maybe that was seen as kind of a last hurrah album, I'm not sure. So I guess the point is, I'm not sure about their status currently, but they're a long-running band with some interruptions in between. Anyway, the song Too Many relates to a person who feels like Sort of like in the U2 li or Can't Live Without You, With or Without You, it's the same concept where they feel like they always have fights and disagreements with this person and they've had these nights where the other person accuses them of something or of not treating them right and the narrator saying, I feel like I haven't done anything wrong and we always go through this and then I don't trust you necessarily when you're out. I feel like maybe you're out with someone else and if I can't trust you, then I can't trust myself. But then he comes back and says, but you know, we've kissed and made up a hundred times and I for one hope this will keep lasting and I still want this to be a thing. So it's sort of too many on both sides of it. He says, you know, we argue too many times and we've gone through these issues too many times, but we've also come back and made up a hundred times or more and I hope we keep doing that because I still wanted to persist. So it's a person who has gone through the wars of a relationship and yet can't find a future where he wants to be apart from this person, even if his present and past, he hasn't been able to be with this person in a simple straightaway way. Straightaway way? 
So yes, ultimately, it's a song with complicated emotions, and I think that is another notable fact about 88 Thinkers Louis, is that they may not be singing about deep philosophical concepts all that often like Bad Religion does, but I think they get to sort of complicated and deep human emotions that are not always cut and dry, straightforward. So anyway, we're going to listen to the studio version, which again, I initially heard on Punk Sucks, and I think in terms of 88 Finger Louie releases, I think it came from an EP called Totem 40s and Fucking Shit Up or something like that. I never had that EP. Again, I heard it on the Punk Sucks compilation and then eventually got their first album, which is 88 Fingers Behind Bars, or just Behind Bars, 88 Fingers Louie, and eventually got this compilation and then later the Back on the Street CD. But we'll listen to the recorded version, and then we're going to hear a version live in Germany. I don't know exactly what year it's from. I don't know if it's from the same year this compilation came out, which is 97. But here we go. 80 Fingers Louie, Too Many, the studio version, followed by a live version. <laughs> one or two people came and left, but shut up. This one's called Too Many, it's for my friend Chris. Oh, you can hear how gone his voice is.
good drumming. about this before, but the 88 Fingers Up Your Ass compilation has a lot of recorded material, like studio material, but then the last, I don't know how many, the last several tracks are live. I guess it's only three? Maybe it's only, yeah, I guess it's like the last three only. I think maybe I'm conflating it with Bad Religion's Test Aid, which has like half and half. The first half are like rarities and studio tracks that weren't on any of their albums, and the last half is all this concert in Germany. Here, I guess it's just the last three, but that track is the last track on the entire compilation album, and I think, from what I can tell, and maybe given that it was an early hit of theirs that really sort of propelled them to come out and, you know, release a couple albums, and then, you know, the whole history of the band unfolded, but... I guess it became a fan favorite because, you know, oftentimes punk bands will end, and I guess all bands, but they ended their concerts with some of their earliest tunes, some of their favorites. So, yeah, ultimately, you can hear his voice is just completely shot by the time you get to this final track of the concert and maybe final track of a tour. So, yeah, ultimately, shout out to all the guys from 88 Fingers Louie. As I said, uh, I have more material from them that I haven't gone through. I was thinking when I went to do this reaction that maybe I was going to react to a tune called 100 Proof, which I think was originally on a compilation, but was later included on the Back on the Streets album. So, yeah, I think when I come back to these guys the next time, I'll do that. I think, however, my next punk reaction in general will be a Bad Religion reaction. I was thinking of doing Looking In from Recipe for Hate. Maybe I'll do some of the social distortion from that EP that Polly sent me. Shout out to you. And yeah, I'll keep coming with the punk reactions. So yeah, bear with me. Let me know what you think of these. Well, this song, but the two different versions. And I will see you next time. Peace. <laughs>